నమస్కారం దిస్ ఆడియో బ్రాడ్కాస్ట్ ఇస్ బ్రాట్ యు బై శ్రీ వేలుకుడి కృష్ణన్ స్వామి టు రిసీవ్ దిస్ బ్రాడ్కాస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ డే ఇన్ యువర్ మొబైల్ కైండ్లీ సేవ్ దిస్ నంబర్ నైన్ డబల్ ఫోర్ త్రీ టూ వన్ నైన్ జీరో టూ వన్ అండ్ సెండ్ అ వాట్సప్ ఎస్ఎంఎస్ ఎంజాయ్ దిస్ ఆడియో బ్రాడ్కాస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ డే ఇన్ యువర్ మొబైల్ నమస్కారం let me say a few words about superstitions and our faith religion is of course based on faith we believe in god but not that he cannot be proved or his existence is not logical it can be very much proved argued and established atman and god the theory of karma are all very well established based on logical arguments similarly the vedas very rich text which is quite ancient talk about superstitions we need not blindly believe on anything that we don't see for example we don't see atman or paramatma then why do we believe one has to give substantiate with arguments that there has to be an atman besides this body and there has to be a paramatma who controls this body and the atman similarly there is nothing to prove superstitions and belief we believe in god not because of blind faith but because of established facts whereas take for instance we kill a goat we kill a, some other animal and offer it to god now this may be a part of belief but not as prescribed by shastras the vedas very rarely mention about sacrifices during yaga that's for a very specific case if i can draw a simile the army kills but that's for a specific case police encounter for a specific case but one cannot generalize it and start killing by ourselves similarly there may be some exceptions as mentioned in the shastras they should not be generalized piercing something in your tongue or pulling something we inflicting some pain on ourselves all these are not very much prescribed in the shastras even taking the case of offering 108 liters of milk or 1008 liters of milk to bhagavan I don't think the Vedas or Rishis ever advocated this. They have stayed in fact away from this. Should we offer or not? You can offer. But there is a limit to offer. Even when Annakota Utsavam, the big festival where we offer a lot of food to Bhagavan, it's just not for him. We can't waste that food. It has to be distributed to the needy. So offer milk to Bhagavan, don't waste it. it has to be distributed to children our purva acharyas have never wanted that just give everything to bhagavan and he is going to pardon you of all your sins he is not like that we have to do prayaschitam clean our sins not that we can do some wrong business illegal business offer in the hundi of lord and just clear away your sins that is not what bhagavan wants he wants us to do lot of punyam and offer the fruits of that punyam to him he wants us to abstain from papam never do it bhagavan is so fond of us that he would not like us to offend someone or offend myself now why should i inflict pain on myself that's not required 
Bhagavan is very fond and he lives within me. He resides in my mind, in my heart. So if it is pain to me, it will pain to him too. That is not as, that's not what is accepted in the Shastra. So, let us not blindly believe on something. Let it be debated. We are prepared for any argument. At the same time, we, we smear sandalwood. We wear thiruman telak. Now, are these also superstitions? We wear panchakacham veshti, madishar pudavai. Should all these be also be done away with? Not at all. All these have a very valued argument. We can prove why we should wear tilak. We can prove why a married person should wear panchakacham. These things are all debated. Whereas, other things like sacrifices, killing animals or killing men, have a pain to myself. All these are superstitions which are not allowed at all. So, let's not get carried away by someone's statement that Hinduism is total, is full of superstitions. So, better get away from Hinduism or don't believe in it. And in fact, there is a large group today which say that Hinduism is outdated, not at all. Probably they have not read the Shastras in the right perspective. Let us at least do that.